Welcome to today's Walk Through the Bible by Category. We have six categories with one chapter each. This will take us through the Bible in less than nine months. Our first category begins with a reading from the Torah, God's Law Through Moses. Numbers 26. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, Take a census of all the congregation of the people of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, by their fathers' houses, all in Israel who are able to go to war. And Moses and Eleazar the priests spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses. The people of Israel who came out of the land of Egypt were Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanak, the clan of the Hanakites, of Palu, the clan of the Paluites, of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the clan of the Carmites. These are the clans of the Reubenites, and those listed were 43,730. And the sons of Palu, Eliab. The sons of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Dathan and Abiram chosen from the congregation who contended against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah, when they contended against the Lord, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah. When that company died, when the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a warning, but the sons of Korah did not die. The sons of Simeon, according to their clans, of Nemuel, the clan of the Nemulites, of Jamin, the clan of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the clan of the Jaconites of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites of Shaul, the clan of the Shaulites, these are the clans of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, according to their clans, of Zephon, the clan of the Zephonites of Haggai, the clan of the Haggites of Shunai, the clan of the Shunites of Oznai, the clan of the Oznites of Arai, the clan of the Arites of Arad, the clan of the Aradites of Aralai, the clan of the Aralites, these are the clans of the sons of Gad as they were listed, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Er and Onan, and Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, according to their clans, were of Shelah, the clan of the Shelanites, of Perez, the clan of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites. And the sons of Perez were of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Hamal, the clan of the Hamalites, these are the clans of Judah, as they were listed, 76,500. The sons of Issachar, according to their clans, of Tola, the clan of the Tolaites, of Pava, the clan of the Punites, of Jashub, the clan of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the clan of the Shimronites, these are the clans of Issachar, as they were listed, 64,300. The sons of Zebulun, according to their clans, of Sered, the clan of the Seredites, of Elon, the clan of the Elonites, of Jalil, the clan of the Jahalielites, these are the clans of the Zebulonites, as they were listed, 60,500. The sons of Joseph, according to their clans, Manasseh and Ephraim, the sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the clan of the Machirites, and Machir was the father of Gilead, of Gilead, the clan of the Gileadites, these are the sons of Gilead, of Aizer, the clan of the Aizerites, of Helek, the clan of the Helekites, and of Asriel, the clan of the Asrielites and of Shechem, the clan of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the clan of the Shemidaites, and of Hefer, the clan of the Heferites. Now, Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milcah, and Tirzah. These are the clans of Manasseh, and those listed were 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim, according to their clans, of Shethala, the clan of the Shethalites, of Bekar, the clan of the Bekarites, of Tahan, the clan of the Tahanites, and these are the sons of Shethala, of Aaron, the clan of the Aaronites. These are the clans of the sons of Ephraim, as they were listed, 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph, according to their clans. The sons of Benjamin, according to their clans, of Bela, the clan of the Belaites, of Ashbel, the clan of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the clan of the Aharamites of Shephufam, the clan of the Shufamites, of Hufam, the clan of the Hufamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the clan of the Ardites, of Naaman, the clan of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin according to their clans, and those listed were 45,600. 
These are the sons of Dan according to their clans, of Shuham, the clan of the Shuhamites. These are the clans of Dan according to their clans. All the clans of the Shuhamites, as they were listed, were 64,400. The sons of Asher according to their clans, of Imna, the clan of the Imnites, of Ishvai, the clan of the Ishvites, of Bariah, the clan of the Berites, of the sons of Bariah, of Heber, the clan of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the clan of the Malkielites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the clans of the sons of Asher, as they were listed, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali, according to their clans, of Jaziel, the clan of the Jazielites, of Gunai, the clan of the Gunites, of Jazer, the clan of the Jazerites, of Shilem, the clan of the Shilemites. These are the clans of Naphtali, according to their clans, and those listed were 45,400. This was the list of the people of Israel, 601,730. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Among these the land shall be divided for inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a large inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a small inheritance. Every tribe shall be given its inheritance in proportion to its list. But the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. Their inheritance shall be divided according to a lot between the larger and the smaller. This was the list of the Levites according to their clans, of Gershon, the clan of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the clan of the Kohathites, of Merari, the clan of the Merites. These are the clans of Levi, the clan of the Lebnites, the clan of the Hebronites, the clan of the Malites, the clan of the Mushites, the clan of the Korahites, and Kohath was the father of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jacobed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. And she bore to Amram, Aaron and Moses, and Miriam, their sister. And to Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord. And those listed were twenty-three thousand, every male from a month old and upward. But they were not listed among the people of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the people of Israel. These were those listed by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who listed the people of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. But among these there was not one of those listed by Moses and Aaron the priest, who had listed the people of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They shall die in the wilderness. Not one of them was left, except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Our second chapter is from Israel's history. Second Kings 17. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, Hoshea, the son of Elah, began to reign in Samaria over Israel, and he reigned at nine years. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, yet not as the kings of Israel who were before him. Against him came up Shalmaneser, king of Assyria. And Hoshea became his vassal and paid him tribute. But the king of Assyria found a treachery in Hoshea, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt, and offered no tribute to the king of Assyria as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria invaded all the land and came to Samaria, and for three years he besieged it. In the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Assyria captured Samaria, and he carried the Israelites away to Assyria and placed them in Hala and on the Habor, the river of Gozan, and in the cities of the Medes. And this occurred because the people of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, who had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods and walked in the customs of the nations whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel, and in the customs that the kings of Israel had practiced. And the people of Israel did secretly against the Lord their God things that were not right. They built for themselves high places in all their towns, from watchtower to fortified city. They set up for themselves pillars and ashram on every high hill and under every green tree. And there they made offerings on all the high places, as the nations did whom the Lord carried away before them. And they did wicked things, provoking the Lord to anger. And they served idols, of which the Lord had said to them, You shall not do this. 
Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways, and keep my commandments and my statutes in accordance with all the law that I commanded your fathers, and that I sent to you by my servants the prophets. But they would not listen, but were stubborn, as their fathers had been, who did not believe in the Lord their God. They despised his statutes and his covenants that he made with their fathers and the warnings that he gave them. They went after false idols and became false, and they followed the nations that were around them concerning whom the Lord had commanded them that they should not do like them. And they abandoned all the commandments of the Lord their God and made for themselves metal images of two calves. And they made an Asherah and worshipped all the host of heaven and served Baal. And they burned their sons and their daughters as offerings and used divination and omens and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. None was left but the tribe of Judah only. Judah also did not keep the commandments of the Lord their God, but walked in the customs that Israel had introduced. And the Lord rejected all the descendants of Israel and afflicted them and gave them into the hand of plunderers until he had cast them out of his sight. When he had torn Israel from the house of David, they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king. And Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord and made them commit great sin. The people of Israel walked in all the sins that Jeroboam did. They did not depart from them until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight as he had spoken by all his servants the prophets. So Israel was exiled from their own land to Assyria until this day. And the king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, Kutha, Ava, Hamath, Sephar, Vaim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the people of Israel. And they took possession of Samaria and lived in its cities. And at the beginning of their dwelling there, they did not fear the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. So the king of Assyria was told, The nations that you have carried away and placed in the cities of Samaria do not know the law of the God of the land. Therefore he has sent lions among them, and behold, they are killing them, because they do not know the law of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, Send there one of the priests whom you carried away from there, and let him go and dwell there, and teach them the law of the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and lived in Bethel and taught them how they should fear the Lord. But every nation still made gods of its own and put them in the shrines of the high places that the Samaritans had made. Every nation in the cities in which they lived, the men of Babylon made Sukoth benoth the men of Cuth made Nergal, the men of Hamath made Ashimah, and the Avites made Nibhaz and Tartak. And the Sepharvites burned their children in the fire of Adramelech and Anamelech, the gods of Sepharvaim. They also feared the Lord and appointed from among themselves all sorts of people as priests of the high places who sacrificed for them in the shrines of the high places. So they feared the Lord but also served their own gods after the manner of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. To this day they do according to the former manner. They do not fear the Lord, and they do not follow the statutes or the rules or the law or the commandment that the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel. The Lord made a covenant with them and commanded them, You shall not fear other gods or bow yourselves to them or serve them or sacrifice to them, but you shall fear the Lord, who brought you out of the land of Egypt with great power and with an outstretched arm. You shall bow yourselves to him, and to him you shall sacrifice. And the statutes, and the rules, and the law, and the commandment that he wrote for you, you shall always be careful to do. You shall not fear other gods, and you shall not forget the covenant that I made with you. You shall not fear other gods, but you shall fear the Lord your God, and he will deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. However, they would not listen, but they did according to their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord and also served their carved images, 
their children did likewise, and their children's children, as their fathers did, so they do to this day. Our third chapter is from Israel's prophets. Ezekiel 20, in the seventh year, in the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month, certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Is it to inquire of me that you come? As I live, declares the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. Will you judge them, son of man? Will you judge them? Let them know the abominations of their fathers and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, On the day when I chose Israel, I swore to the offspring of the house of Jacob, making myself known to them in the land of Egypt. I swore to them, saying, I am the Lord your God. On that day I swore to them that I would bring them out of the land of Egypt into a land that I had searched out for them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most glorious of all lands. And I said to them, Cast away the detestable things your eyes feast on, every one of you, and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. But they rebelled against me and were not willing to listen to me. None of them cast away the detestable things their eyes feasted on, nor did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said, I would pour out my wrath upon them and spend my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. But I acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be profaned in the sight of nations among whom they lived, in whose sight I made myself known to them in bringing them out of the land of Egypt. So I led them out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. I gave them my statutes and made known to them my rules by which, if a person does them, he shall live. Moreover, I gave them my Sabbaths as a sign between me and them that they might know that I am the Lord who sanctifies them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not walk in my statutes, but rejected my rules by which, if a person does them, he shall live and my Sabbaths they greatly profaned. Then I said, I would pour out my wrath upon them in the wilderness to make a full end of them. But I acted for the sake of my name that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations in whose sight I had brought them out. Moreover, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land that I had given them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most glorious of all lands, because they rejected my rules and did not walk in my statutes, and profaned my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols. Nevertheless my eye spared them, and I did not destroy them, or make a full end of them in the wilderness. And I said to their children in the wilderness, Do not walk in the statutes of your fathers, nor keep their rules, nor defile yourself with their idols. I am the Lord your God. Walk in my statutes, and be careful to obey my rules. And keep my Sabbaths holy, that they may be a sign between me and you, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. But the children rebelled against me. They did not walk in my statutes, and were not careful to obey my rules, by which if a person does them, he shall live. They profaned my Sabbaths. Then I said I would pour out my wrath upon them, and spend my anger against them in the wilderness. But I withheld my hand and acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations, in whose sight I had brought them out. Moreover, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would scatter them among the nations and disperse them through the countries, because they had not obeyed my rules, but had rejected my statutes and profaned my Sabbaths, and their eyes were set on their father's idols. Moreover, I gave them statutes that were not good, and rules by which they could not have life, and I defiled them through their very gifts in their offering up all their firstborn, that I might devastate them. I did it that they might know that I am the Lord. Therefore, son of man, speak to the house of Israel and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, In this also your fathers blasphemed me by dealing treacherously with me. For when I had brought them into the land that I swore to give them, then, wherever they saw any high hill or any leafy tree, there they offered their sacrifices, and there they presented the provocation of their offering. There they sent up their pleasing aromas, and there they poured out their drink offerings. I said to them, What is the high place to which you go, 
so its name is called Bama to this day. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Will you defile yourselves after the manner of your fathers, and go whoring after their detestable things? When you present your gifts and offer up your children in fire, you defile yourselves with all your idols to this day. And I shall be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, declares the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. What is in your mind shall never happen. The thought, let us be like the nations, like the tribes of the countries, and worship wood and stone. As I live, declares the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand, and an outstretched arm, and with wrath poured out, I will be king over you. I will bring you out from the peoples, and gather you out of the countries where you are scattered, with a mighty hand, and an outstretched arm, and with wrath poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the peoples, and there I will enter into judgment with you face to face. As I entered into judgment with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so I will enter into judgment with you, declares the Lord God. I will make you pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will purge out the rebels from among you, and those who transgressed against me. I will bring them out of the land where they sojourn, but they shall not enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord. As for you, O house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, Go serve every one of you his idols, now and hereafter. If you will not listen to me, but my holy name you shall no more profane with your gifts and your idols. For on my holy mountain, the mountain height of Israel, declares the Lord God, there all the house of Israel, all of them, shall serve me in the land. There I will accept them, and there I will require your contributions and the choices of your gifts with all your sacred offerings. As a pleasing aroma, I will accept you when I bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered. And I will manifest my holiness among you in the sight of the nations. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I bring you into the land of Israel, the country that I swore to give to your fathers. And there you shall remember your ways and all your deeds with which you have defiled yourselves. And you shall loathe yourselves for all the evils that you have committed. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I deal with you for my name's sake not according to your evil ways, nor according to your corrupt deeds, O house of Israel, declares the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face toward the southland, preach against the south, and prophesy against the forest land in the Negeb. Say to the forest of Negeb, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will kindle a fire in you, and it shall devour every green tree in you and every dry tree. The blazing flame shall not be quenched, and all faces from south to north shall be scorched by it. All flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it. It shall not be quenched. Then I say, Ah, Lord God, they are saying of me, Is he not a maker of parables? Our fourth chapter is from Israel's Wisdom and Poetry. Psalm 101 I will sing of steadfast love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will make music. I will ponder the way that is blameless. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. I will look with favor on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Morning by morning I will destroy all the wicked in the land, cutting off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. Our fifth chapter is from the Gospels. 
you have completed all four Gospels. Our final chapter for today is from the church epistles or letters. 1 John 2 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may be sure that we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. Beloved, I am writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. At the same time, it is a new commandment that I am writing to you, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light and hates his brother is still in darkness. Whoever loves his brother abides in the light, and in him there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I am writing to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride in possessions, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. Children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out, that it might become plain that they all are not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made to us, eternal life. I write these things to you about those who are trying to deceive you. But the anointing that you receive from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything, and is true and is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, so that when he appears we may have confidence and not shrink from him in shame at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who practices righteousness has been born of him.